Hey folks, Tim T. Neon here. Well, I add a couple of things to the truck. First and start out, you see you got headlights. We have the headlights on the truck now, along with the fog lights still that I had. We got turn signals. And in the back here, we have brake lights and we have reverse lights. And also you see the turn signals. So whenever I'm going FPV trailing and somebody's behind me, and I got the, I can hit the brake and do a turn signal and then know which way I'm going and where the brakes when I'm hitting the brakes. But the coolest thing that I done I came up with was, of course you knew I have rotating, and you probably see them little servos back there giving me away. Now I can actually tilt. So wherever I'm looking at. I can tilt, look at the tire, and see what tire is stuck where I can climb out of a hole and see what's best on it. So I can pretty much look where I want to look at, look directly, and then look directly up. Alright, so, and I'm working this with the throttle, with the throttle stick. So you see I'm working that with the throttle stick. And of course my, my pan is on, on aileron. And my throttle stick is working the tip. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I made this right fast. All right, pretty much it is simple as pie. Had some servos laying over from laying around from my old 450. This page that you don't throw nothing away. Keep whatever you got and save it. Don't throw nothing away. Um, so basically what I did was took a piece of carbon fiber uh, plate here and I cut it in two pieces. One the width of the camera and the height of the camera and one the length of the camera for the bottom and the width of the camera on the bottom. So I basically uh, put it, uh, ser put glued a servo arm to this uh, carbon fiber plate here and screwed it to the servo I have under the roof here that y'all seen in my last video I took the two servos hot glued them to the back plate I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm running two servos and took some clevis arms and basically drilled holes in them with a z-band in on the lever and hot glued the z-band on the bottom and on the top all the way up on the arm to the clevis so I know it won't go get away from me and same thing on here the reason I'm doing using two servos because I was having some bouncing issues with one servo. So I'm running two servos now and that helped out some of the bouncing. So it was going like this real fast while we're driving. Now it's, it's here and I'm going to show you what else I've done to get it to much move just like, like this, like you in a real truck. So, and I have both servos working off the throttle, but I got it mixed with channel four as the slave and channel and throttle, which is channel one as the uh, master. So pretty much this how I got it working and it's working pretty good. So but basically I took two pieces and ran duct tape as a hinge. So I'm using duct tape for a hinge. All right, and I'm gonna show you about the dampener. So I'm about being use what you got in the house. So I took some dampeners I had from an old quad and cut the dampeners in two and basically CA glued them and then hot glued them to the carbon fiber frame did on both sides. I tried to do one in the middle but it didn't want to stay. So basically what I done was took some hot glue, build it up and made a dampener for that. So now you know, it's dampener, so whenever I drive, it takes the bouncing away from me. But you see, by being, it works great on the body of the car, so it don't bind up the servo and everything. So, it's simple to make. All you need is basically a sheet of anything, piece of plywood, cut it into, and use duct tape as your hinge. And so I went and duct tape right across here. I went and put a little uh, super glue, not super glue, uh, hot glue on the hinge part. So it'll help that out. 
I pretty much watched what flight tests were doing and I took it to a different level. They were using two servos for, for panning, one servo for panning and one servo for tilt, but they were using horns down here. Well, I'm using and using the horns here, so I thought about just drilling a hole in the plate using a Z-band uh, linkage rod from an airplane, use some cre clevises and use it, do it like that. So basically it's just working, the servo is, is pushing it back and forth. So, you know, I'm always coming up with something. People say, you ought to patent it. Well, I can't patent it because pretty much it's already done. I mean, people pay $43 for a box and pretty much here it is. And if you want to add a, a, a pan, you know, like I said, I did a, a regular servo for panning. So now I got tilting. So now I'm running all these servos. I'm running two, I'm running four servos on this thing. So I had to end up running a castle uh, BC. And it's right there, the blue little thing. So basically what I'm have to do now is pretty much turn that up so I'm getting a little bit of brown outs. So I'm gonna have to turn it up to get the right uh, voltage coming out of it. All right, I just want to show you the latest, what I've done to the Invictus FPV. Oh, put some new tires on it. So I got some trenches on it. So now I can really go uh, trailing and getting it done. All right, I have a video up with this, probably picture to picture, and I have a picture also of the distance that I went. A um, thousand and nineteen feet, and still was getting video feed and still getting video link, um, radio link. All right, as I always say, guys, good all the time. TNT out. Want to say goodbye to the folks? All right, goodbye.